Hello everyone. Today we're going to show how to use uh, Lar Laravel Excel for Excel sheet or spreadsheet and show the data on our on database. First of all, I install uh, Laravel. You can see uh, Laravel 11. Now I'm going to Laravel Excel. Laravel Excel. You wanna search on Google search bar. Laravel Excel. Then you come here. This URL. Laravel Excel dot com. Go to documentation. Okay, you can read this uh, documentation. Uh, you go to install. Okay, had the requirements. You can read it. Okay, then you can see the installation guide so first of all we uh, copy the command okay. go to vs code open a terminal I clear the scan ok now I paste the command ok composer require meta website uh, slash excel okay downloading it generating optimized auto load files okay let's took a time You can define uh, the version of Laravel Excel. Okay, I close all the tab. We go to composer.json. You can see our PSP version and Laravel version. Okay. You can see also our meta website excel version is added okay uh, finally uh, our packages in a solution done no public actual resource for track okay no security vulnerable advisor founds okay that's fine uh, we only need this for come on on for laravel 11 if you use uh, laravel 10 or a nine then you have to use this command and follow this process better in laravel 11 we don't need uh, this only just we need to follow this command okay then uh, we have to go to uh, we have to go to resource views we have to create a view for this so I create a view excel dot uh, blade dot psp okay i import html and i use form deck use post method okay the form we need input type file okay name excel file id you can use or not it's uh, up to you file then uh, need to uh, submit button okay input type button okay value submit okay. and uh, we have to create a route for this gonna create a route only create our get route first slash excel
Okay, we have created a controller. Go and create a controller. PSP artisan make controller. Import Excel Okay Wait. Import Excel Controller Class and To define a function <clears throat> function name index or import import okay go and create a function public function import okay we're gonna return a view return view okay we are use excel this view we're gonna return this okay we save it I save it okay now we go to our Laravel view and here I route Excel okay you can see file and submit button but we make it beautiful by using water CSS okay we only need to use dark theme copy copy clipboard go to excel just paste before title here we can write import excel import laravel excel to database to database okay now we save it now if i refresh it you can see it's really work you can use water CSS by get a um, nice UI in a short time okay we close it mm, now we're going to use uh, post method so I duplicate it and use a post route uh, same route input post save it ok now I create another function function input post request dollar request okay first of all i want to uh, make data diagram data diagram okay and to check it if it's working or not request all okay let me check okay refresh it and go and check our test mm -hmm. okay one thing i have to do that is in the form below i have to add csrf csrf and uh, here i have to add enc type uh, multi-part form data okay submit
okay submit okay you can see our excel file okay our uh, test okay. <clears throat> if you change the input um, her name then it will show like this excel file if you change it uh, right here uh, import an excel file then it will show important excel file uh, like this import excel file and save it okay reload it continue okay choose the file again submit okay here you can see import excel file okay now it's working now we have to create a import file so i write a comment tsprt sun make import import excel okay our import excel file is created so if i go to f here you can see imports here you can see import excel file is created okay now first of all i uh to upload a file okay test it dot then wait for uh, i want to see the collection so we did it okay the collection i have to add one more thing uh, that is uh, in the controller remove this and here i have to add excel okay here you can see it's imported then use import new uh okay new our import file name is import excel so i use import excel okay comma import excel class okay import excel okay then the use request dollar request then use file and our file name is you can see import excel file okay so you can also write uh, from here or copy from here Let's see copy and control v paste and close here synchron make the alignment right ktf Control is safe. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't like it. Control is safe. Okay. Where is the problem? Uh, how I solve this problem? See, uh, I rename our controller name 
import Excel controller and uh, use it import Excel for import Excel file okay and uh, also change uh, on the routes and import as like it okay okay if I submit it here you can see items 4 okay the collections area 3 name email and password okay okay first is column name and then the, we get the data uh, you can see here and rest of all is the same okay now what do you have to do we have to uh, use another model and to see it it's working we use two model library and I have to add two model okay yes pub public function this model and uh, use her pivotal row array and I comment this and I here I make a ready to check the row okay semicolon okay. if I go and refresh the page again now you can see only the column name is here okay that means it's working now we don't want the header we just want the own data so we can use here nothing private and we want to remove the first row so equal zero and uh, now we used here a condition first of all we use this norm plus plus then use here if dollar this arrow num is greater than one then we save the data so First, we the user model new user. Here we can see. Okay, user is imported. Then to, to use user name and uh, you can see the row we get this now we remove it and use row number one it's start from zero so you zero name email and password 
password email is one num the on row password is two number but we want we want to use password for as a hashing so I use here hash and use make okay use here card it and paste it here okay now we have to save it user save okay. you can check refresh it Okay. Reload the. Okay, here, and see it's blank. No. My input or Excel file. Okay. Tap it is blank, and if we refresh it, we can see three three column data is added. Now, if I update here, something like the name is something, and email is four at the red gmail dot com dot com. Password is something. Okay. Now, if I save it, it's our testing one. But I don't want to uh, duplicate the same data. I want to just update the data. Now I use her count. So I use her count variable and user fire. email. is equal dollar row one let's count okay and we put a condition here if empty account and then you run the condition I card it okay first it's like on the before data if it's empty then it's only added this if it's not empty then it's what before If it's not empty, then it's not empty, then it will not work. If it's empty, it will work. Okay. I added another data. Let me check. Before is new, but I know. Okay, one more thing I have to add it. Uh, after complete this, we have to add a uh, return redirect. The return redirect and to simply use back can save it ok refresh it ok then choose a file test one ok now submit ok here you can see three data uh, here is four. Okay, if we browse this file, okay, you can see our data is added, but uh, no duplicacy. 
okay password is as i hope you understand a better way so thank you